ya tora, y tora, tora, tora. Si mamá, si mamá, y ka tora, tora. Mi mina tora, y tora, tora, tora. Si mamá, si mamá, y ka tora, tora. Mi mina tora, y tora, tora, tora. Si mamá, si mamá, y ka tora, tora, tora. Right, people, we are here today to perform the density test. test. And Speedy Gonzalez test. And Speedy test. For the Perfect. Okay, first thing we're going to do is turn on the, computer, the, the equipment. Uh, he has to be warming up for five minutes. He has to warm up for five minutes. Now what? It's warming up. Okay. 300 seconds. It's warming up 300 seconds. Five minutes. Five minutes. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to do the standard count. So, we need the block. The block serial number has to match the machine serial number. Also found here, 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 <laughs> everywhere. Okay. The block. You need to place it in a very solid place, very compact. If you had concrete or a sidewalk, better. Grab the gauge machine. Place it in the block. This is the plate on the block. The serial plate on the block. You have to put the arm opposite to the serial plate on the block. The arm on this side, the serial plate on this side. You kick it a little. Make sure it's really on the border here. You check that the machine is not coming out anywhere. It's set. Let's do a standard test. The standard count. Oh, to do a standard count. Oh, that is standard. Standard. No. You press a standard now. Okay. You press standard. And he asks you take new count. And you're gonna say yes. Then it's going to say the, ga the gauge on standard block and source rod is safe in a safe position. Yes, the gauge is in the standard in the block, and the block is in a safe position. You put yes, so it's yes two times. Now it's going to perform the standard count for 240 seconds, three minutes. Okay, so you can see the, the countdown. You wait. Now. We just finished the standard the count. count, okay? We just finished the standard count. Now, it's going to ask you, if you come here and you look at it, it's going to ask you, do you want to use the new standard? And you're going to put yes. In this case, we're going to put no because we, we want to use the other one, okay? The one that we have before, but you're going to put yes. You pick up the machine. Pick up the plug. You have to place the plug back so you don't lose it. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Write it in your book. I'm just going to show you. Come to the book. But you can always go back to the machine. 2182, 2182, okay? You look over here, it says um, 7.15, okay? And this percentage is not shown there, but it shows when you do. When you actually do the standard count test, you're gonna see it there, and it's gonna tell you pass or fail. If it's a fail, you don't record it, but if it's pass, you record it, and it's gonna give you a percentage. The percentage you have to write exactly as the machine showed it to you. Minus 0.6 percentage, minus 0.4 percentage, and then your initials, okay? Now, next thing we're doing is uh, we gotta open the hole, okay, to get the measurement, to put the, so we can put the machine in it. All right, this thing right here, the pin is six inches from here all the way to here to the first mark, six inches. That is, you have to do it in six inches. So you're gonna stick it six inches, but you're actually gonna go a little farther. 
every line here, it, from every line, from the first line to the second line is two inches, and then two inches to the next line, etc. Like that. So you're gonna stick it at least two more inches after the six inches, okay? Six inches and then two more inches. So you're gonna go eight inches down below. Right, you place the plate in the floor. You place the pin. I mean, well, you have to place this first, okay? That's gonna help you pull it out when you're done with the test, okay? You put the pin. Now, in this case, we already have the hole open, okay? So, if this case, we don't have the hammer, right? But you're supposed to have a hammer, and uh, you're not supposed to have the hole open as we have it. So the idea is you come here, you place it, you grab the hammer, you stick it down, you hammer it down. Bam, 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 all the way to there, you see? Six inches, and you go even lower, like that. That's the line, eight inches. You can go a little bit lower, like that, just like that. Once you're done, you're ready to open the hole, you grab this one, you pull out the pin, and you're ready to go. <laughs> you remove the plate, you can see the hole. Next, next step, paro. Acción. Okay, now we're going to perform the test. Where are you going, man? He's here. <laughs> Once you place it on the hole, you push down on the pin here again, you bring it down to six inches. That's what you wanted, okay? Now the six has to be above to be on the mark. So you stick it down. Okay, way too much. Bring it back. Crazy. Oño. Down. There. down. Yeah. Okay, you have to hear the click on six, okay? It has to click. And you can see the six on top, okay? That's the way you do it. Now, the next, the next part is the most important part. You're gonna have any voids, okay? Underneath the machine, between the machine and the surface, between the gauge machine and the surface, you're gonna have, you're gonna have any, um, any holes, okay? Any voids. So what you do, you can move it like that to make Let's assume you don't have any boys right now. All right, so we said to do the test. So you come down here to the machine, and now you're gonna press star. All right, you're gonna see it's doing a countdown because it's set for 60 seconds, one minute. So.